and I turn this bed sheet into a beautiful cottage core summer dress. Let's see. Hello and welcome or welcome back. On my way around the charity shops recently, I spotted some really beautifully pressed and what seemed to be good condition bed sheets. And I thought that they'd be brilliant to use as dressmaking fabric instead of buying fabric off the roll. For a while now, I've really wanted one of the beautiful cottage core milkmaidy kind of dresses, a nice long length one. And they look like they're only made really from either one or two pieces of fabric for the body and maybe a piece each for the sleeves and then add some elastic. I thought it would be a lot of fun to have a go and if I succeed and it turns out okay, I'm going to have made myself a beautiful long length dress for just a pound. The one that I want to use today is going to be this one. This is the print, so it's a beautiful green floral pattern. And I thought it'd make a really pretty dress. So again, this one is a beautiful cotton. It feels lovely, lovely quality. The great thing about using a sheet is it's already got a hem at the bottom. So I won't even have to hem the bottom of the sheet. First thing that we're going to have to do is take some measurements. So the first thing you need to do is measure around the bust at the largest part and take that measurement. The next thing you need to measure is from where you want the top of the dress, so just above the bust somewhere here, all the way down to the bottom to where you want the dress to sit because you can have this dress at any length. You also need to take a measurement from the top of the dress to just underneath the bust line somewhere there. This is so that later on you know where to put the elastic to do a little sheared panel along there. You also need to know the length from just underneath your armpit there over your shoulder and back round to meet it again and also measure around your arm where you want the sleeve to finish where you want the elastic to go making sure that that's a nice comfortable measurement so it's not tight on your arm i hope you can see this and it makes sense so these are my measurements my bust measurement was 38 inches i need to times that by two because i'm doing it in one piece if you were doing that in two pieces a front and a back then you can just do each piece at 38 inches so 38 inches measurement times two is 76 inches and then I need to add an inch for seam allowance so that's 77 inches so this is my piece of fabric 77 inches across I want my length 46 inches and I need to add an inch at the top and bottom for the elastic casing so it's 77 inches across and 48 inches down I am going to then mark eight and a half inches down that's the measurement from the top to just underneath the bust line. Then for the sleeves, and I'm going to need two of these, I measured around my shoulder from under my armpit, over the shoulder and right round to meet it again, and it was 17 inches. Now I need to double that because we need to gather it together. And then add an inch for seam allowance, so that makes it 35 inches across. The width around my arm for later on for the elastic is 12 inches. And the length from the top of my shoulder to where I want the sleeve to sit was also 12 inches. But again, I need an inch at the top and an inch at the bottom for the elastic casing. So it makes it 35 inches across and 14 inches down. And obviously I need two of these because I've got two sleeves. So what I'm going to do now is put these measurements onto my fabric and cut them out. first thing we need to do is take the body piece and sew down the back or if you're making it out of two pieces down each side. Now the easiest way to do this would be to fold it right sides together and then sew down there and either use an overlocker or a zigzag stitch or some pinking shears on the edges and then press the seam open. But I don't like to see raw seams on my work, so I'm going to do what they call a French seam. So to do a French seam, I'm going to put the, the wrong sides together, sew down here, turn it round, and then sew again down there. And what that will do then is make a nice seam with the raw edges hidden inside it, so you'll have a nice neat finish.
slight mark is just the salvage edge on the edge of the fabric but as you can see by doing that and giving it a good press it leaves you with a really nice flat seam and all of the raw edges are completely enclosed and it's lovely and neat and tidy. We're now going to turn over the top of the dress to neaten it up but also to make an area to put the elastic through so when you're sewing you've got to take into account the size of your elastic and make sure that you make it big enough to fit it in so we're just going to turn over a little lip at the top and press that and iron it and do that all the way around that's just to neaten the top and then we're going to turn it over again making sure that you leave enough room to thread your elastic through and press it again and then we're going to sew along this edge leaving a little gap at the edge so that you're able to thread the elastic through and then we'll close that gap up afterwards. But I decided that I actually might like when I've turned it over I'm going to do a top stitch just a little way down so that it makes sort of a little ruffle at the top not very much but just a little bit of something different a little bit of a ruffle at the top so I am going to have to make sure that when I do this turnover at the top to put the elastic inside that I also I'm leaving enough room for the ruffle so I'm going to turn this down press it then I'll top sew this and then we'll do the casing for the elastic afterwards so this is now the top of the dress as I said this row of top stitching isn't actually necessary but I just wanted to make a little bit of a ruffle at the top so that's the gap for the elastic to go through and the little the little gap for me to put it through there. But before we do that, I need to measure down the measurement to where the ruching is going to go. And I need to do that before this all gets gathered together. So for me, that measurement was eight and a half inches from the top, which is about here. And I'm going to mark it just lightly with a pencil because the pencil will wash out again afterwards. Now for the piece of elastic that goes in the top of the dress, you need to go around the top of your bust quite tight but not you know don't pull it and stretch it but just quite tightly and take that measurement and that's the amount of the elastic that you're going to need to put in the top the easiest way to get the elastic into the gap is to put a nice big safety pin on the end and then you can feed that through so here's the gap here so we're going to put that in and then just feed it through obviously make sure that you don't lose this other end as it goes through keep your eye on where that's going now the elastics through what we need to do is sew these two edges together using a zigzag stitch and then close up the gap but before I do that I'm just going to try it on quickly just to check that it is tight enough and that the dress isn't going to fall down because at this point if it isn't tight enough I can just sew the, this a bit tighter to make it a little bit more firm around the bust area. I have never done shearing before on fabric so we're going to be learning this together. This is what I've bought some shearing fabric just on a bobbin on a big roll and apparently the shearing is formed by just putting it on the bobbin that goes in underneath and you just leave normal thread on top that I did not know. So I've hand wound some shearing elastic onto the bobbin being really careful not to stretch it and now I'm about to put it here in my machine where the normal bobbin goes. And then I'm going to test it on a piece of fabric, the same as the fabric that I've been using to see how it goes. So I'm kind of excited and terrified in equal measure. Let's see how this goes. Here's the scrap fabric. I've got the elastic in the bottom and ordinary thread in the top. Just drop the needle down and go for it. worked i don't know why i didn't think it would work but look at that it's gathered it really beautifully you can see the elastic on the other side in a straight line and then the stitches pull it through and gather it that's amazing so i'm going to have a go now on the dress and see if we can create a nice sheared panel okay so i've got my dress in now this is genuinely terrifying i hope i don't mess it up at this stage after all the work i've done 
but here we go i'm going to take it really slowly but i shall speed it up for you and i'm going to do i don't know how many rows i'm going to do of the um shearing i'm just going to play it by ear i'm going to do one row then just try it on and see you know how tight it is and what it looks like and then i'll probably do another four rows after that five rows there of the shearing elastic and I'm hoping that that's enough for a band there's the top so hopefully that will make a little band around so what I'm going to do now apparently now what you have to do is steam it so get your iron really hot and put it on the maximum steam and go over this and it will shrink it more I've set my iron to maximum steam and apparently as you steam this it should really shrink so let's see what happens I don't know whether you can see that, but it is indeed shrinking. I don't know whether you can see the difference. It's really shrunk it together. So now that the body of the dress is made, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the two sleeves. So I'm going to do a French seam along there, do a pocket at the top and bottom to enclose the elastic, and then thread the elastic through the top and through the bottom. There is an element of trial and error in this dress because I've never made one before. I've pinned one of the sleeves on just where I think for now, just so I can see how the dress fits. And for me, there's too much sagging around here. If you look at the back, it's, it's kind of too saggy. So what I've decided to do to try and remedy that is kind of this much again above here with the ruching to see whether it draws a bit more of that together so that it fits just that little bit tighter. I'm hoping that that will be the remedy, but we shall see. I went away and added some more shearing to this panel. So there's now 10 rows of shearing here and it has pulled it in much more. Now, for me, it is still very poofy around here. In hindsight, I think what I would have done is not used twice the amount, you know, I took my measurement around here and then I doubled it. I think one and a half times would have been better and then there would have been less fabric around here. But it has pulled it in a lot. So what I'm going to do now is um, pin on the sleeves. So this is the part that goes around the bottom of my arm and this is the part for the top of the arm. So I'm just going to find the centre of this, find the centre of here, pin, pin it on, see where I want it, front and back. And sew it. One tip that I would give for this while you're pinning the sleeves on is make sure that you do pull some of the gathering to the front so you do have a little bit more gathering at the front because remember this is going to go over your bust and it will pull it out so if you pull some of the gathering to the front so it's just a little bit less gathered inside that will make it more even but if you pin it on first and then have a look at it in the mirror just check that it's where you want it to be before you sew it. I have to be honest this is probably the hardest part of the dress trying to get my sewing machine to sew through all of these folds without trying to flatten them out but we're there it's on I'm going to take out the pins and do the next one and just like that the dress is finished I hope that if you want to make your own that you found the instructions sort of relatively easy to follow I tried to show you as much as I could as I was making it up as I went along myself I highly recommend looking for cotton sheets in charity shops that are in really nice condition and making your own dress. It's been a really nice process to go through and I absolutely love the dress. I'm really, really excited to show it to you. So here it is, the big reveal. <laughs>